Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be hopping to our third resume critique. I'm super excited about it and I hope you guys have been enjoying this series and hope you've been learning useful tips and tricks on how to improve your resume to make sure it really stands out and delivers the impact that it should. Um, like I've been trying to say, I'm gonna be leveraging and showcasing different types of resumes just so you all aren't seeing just one type and you get to learn how I would approach fixing a wide variety of resumes. Um, and today is actually a resume that needs a bit more work than the other two, which I'm really excited about because I think there'll be a lot more tips for everyone to learn. And I'm really excited to give him this feedback because I hope I kind of, as we go through this, it kind of helps him get that first job. So I'm really hoping that everyone kind of involved can benefit from this particular resume critique. Um, a little bit of background about the student before we do hop in, right? He is a master's student in the University of Liverpool, right? So he's not even from the US, he's in the UK. So really changing it up during this week's resume critique. And like I said, he's getting his master's in AI and data science. And his undergrad was actually in more like music theory, kind of a music background. So definitely a big shift, which I could definitely relate to. And yeah, I'm really excited to see kind of how he made this transition, how he's showcasing this transition, and um, yeah, and see kind of what we can do for him and what we can um, do to improve his resume. So without further ado, actually pause. If you guys are liking this series and you want me to put out more content like this, definitely like, subscribe, drop a comment with your feedback, and let me know what you think, right? Because I know it's been a bit of a delay between my last video and this one, had some personal things going on, but I do want to keep putting these out as frequently as possible. So to stay tuned, uh, click the notification button and definitely subscribe so you get um, all of my future resume critiques and other tutorials that I put together. Now, without further ado, let's hop in and actually start kind of critiquing the resume. Okay, so Let's just take a look from the top down as we always do. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So first I'm looking at, okay, I like when the name is larger than others. Things pretty strand standard. That looks great. Um, currently a master's student, University of Liverpool, deep love and interest in technological world, hardworking, most challenge. I would probably get rid of this sentence here. Um, I could go either way. I, I think that just goes out of personal preference. I try to keep this pretty concise, but yeah, I think it would go either way. If it were me, I would probably remove this particular sentence. Um, strong track record, problem solving, that's great. I, that's a good line. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, there's one less sentence I might clean up, but at the end of the day, that's up to personal preference, and I think it's pretty good as is. Um, really great. I mean, I think in all my previous resume critiques, I've always just emphasized having this at the very top. Um, okay, so top is fine, but immediately just like glancing down, right? I think I'm gonna assume this is sent to me as intended, right? There is a potential formatting issue when he did send it over. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna assume that's the case. And let's all assume that's the case until we can just get feedback um, with what's given. There's definitely way too much white space. Um, just as I look at this, right? I'm just scrolling briefly and I noticed that the experience, the person, uh, the professional experience isn't really data science related. Um, and at this point, the only data science experience is what is in his master's. So a resume with this experience should not be two pages. Definitely not. Um, there's just, there's too much white space. All this consolidated could definitely be on one, one page. So that's be my number one piece of advice. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of jarring almost the amount of white space that's here. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's hop into this right column next and then we'll hop into the actual education and um, whatnot. Technical skills, I like this a lot. I think this is, yeah, like this is really great. Artificial intelligence, machine learning. I think what I would do is, because I think the artificial intelligence and machine learning, like, I'm curious 
if I were to see this on a candidate's resume, I'm curious, like, or how are you differentiating the two? Is machine learning maybe in your eyes, like just classification models, or artificial intelligence, deep neural networks? I'd be curious. I've never seen the two kind of separated out like this. I don't think it needs to be. What I might do is as you're building your machine learning skills, put together a machine learning section here as well. So you have your technical skills, machine learning skills, and then software. I think, yeah, I think that'd be a better way to kind of showcase what aspects of machine learning are to tell, wow, wow. All right, let me gather myself. What aspects of machine learning are you really comfortable in, right? And I think it's really important to showcase as you're building that skill set. So that's kind of one thing I would definitely do here. Um, Instead of software, I always like to take technologies, but that is just subjective in my personal preference. I think this is fine as is. Um, yeah, I think you're showcasing what you've worked in within um, uh, within kind of the data science field. Um, I'm surprised I don't see Anaconda since you're mentioning PyCharm, um, but maybe that's, yeah, uh, that's one thing that seems kind of odd. But other than that, I think that's fine. I like the fact that he had it in the first place is really important, just so people can meet, see this is what he feels he's proficient in. Um, it's really important. Uh, education. So let's quickly read the first semester based around lying, solid foundation, fundamentals, modules based on different elements, machine learning, implementing all these in Python. Okay, so let's. Let's break this down. Um, what I would immediately do as an improvement is list out your coursework. Um, I think that's really, really important to see. Like you could just put like, like a banner right here that just showcases kind of all of your coursework. I think that would be your best bet. Um, you know what, I think I should probably just open one. Give me a second. Okay, so you see this education coursework. Um, that, I would include something like this so people can see exactly what sort of, sort of classes you've been taking. Um, that'd be really, I think, yeah, I would just get a feel for what, what does this solid foundation actually mean, right? Like what kind of coursework are you doing? Um, I think you're trying to get to that here, but I would just list out the actual courses. That's probably your best bet. Second semester of basic building foundations. Okay, so I think all of these can, these two bullets could probably be consolidated into just a bunch of bullets of, not a bunch of bullets, but just listing out all of the courses that you're taking in this space. That's probably going to be your best bet. Um, what I don't see is... I'm just going to scroll down. I don't see any projects. So I'm imagining throughout these courses, you must have worked on some projects or just personal projects or educational projects. Just I, I imagine there probably was some end to end work done here that allowed him to showcase his data science skills. That should definitely be included. I think, um, yeah, I think that's really important and definitely missing here. Um, okay. So University of West London, Keele, Canterbury College. Okay. Very cool. Grammar school. So I'm imagining this is our kind of high school. I don't think going that far back is necessary. I probably would, um, I would probably would get rid of that. Interest, keen traveler. So this, I think, is more a LinkedIn type of thing. I wouldn't include something like this in your resume, especially it's just occupying too much space. I would definitely not include this in your resume. Um, so because this resume is really geared towards data science, and I'm going to assume it's really geared towards data science, I wouldn't I wouldn't break out all of these Apple um, Apple roles the way they are. I would kind of just consolidate all of these to highlight the fact 
the fact in in that consolidation highlight the fact that you went from a specialist to a genius um then you can highlight maybe one or two bullets of what you actually did within these roles and i think that would be fine i don't think i think tops four bullets probably about three bullets would be good here but i would definitely consolidate quite a bit here right i think that's probably your best bet um so just to reiterate i would have one line saying you went from being an Apple specialist to an Apple genius and pick a couple bullets within these that you want to highlight and then go from there. I think that is probably, that's probably what I would kind of showcase within this, um, this personal experience. And that's seeming to be about it. I just want to recap kind of what needs to really get done here. I think the consolidation of all this content, make sure it's all on one page. I think that's an absolute must. This definitely shouldn't be on two pages. On the right-hand bar, I would definitely include um, a machine learning section right here, like right in this section, just to showcase what models you're com comfortable with, etc. cetera. Um, bring, in, bring in some of the projects that you he, he worked on. I think that'd be really, really important. Um, yeah, instead of just kind of highlighting that you're building on foundations, list all the coursework that can be done that shows that foundation and then talk about the projects you actually worked on. I think that would be really crucial because what we like to see and what most recruiters like to see is how are you applying what you've learned, right? And I think that's one thing that this doesn't do here. It just says he's building foundation, but I think what really needs to happen is to showcase how those foundations are being applied, right? And I think that's absolutely critical. Um, I'll remove this interest, keep that in the LinkedIn. And then I think I've mentioned it quite a few times, but consolidate all of this into three or four bullets. And I think you would be good to go at that point. Um, quite, quite a bit to do here, but I think we have very tangible, concrete steps to get this from where it's at to something that can really stand out, right? Which I'm really excited about because it's never great if there's kind of no real path to where he needs to be, which, but there is this really tangible, clear-cut path for him. And i um, really looking forward to see how he leverages this um, moving forward. Um, so that's kind of our third resume critique, and it's all I have for this video. I hope you guys found this useful. I'm excited to send this to him to see what he thinks and see if he's able to kind of leverage this to improve his resume. Um, if you guys have a resume that you want reviewed, drop um, or fill out the form in the description so that I can kind of add you to the queue and I'll make sure I review your resume next. Um, I guess with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.